Let's take a look at how to repose your digital artwork using the Puppet Warp filter in Photoshop CC. So I have this little character here. It's a dinosaur. It's on its own layer, and there's no background. It's very important here. You want to make sure that this is all on its own layer and there's not this white background filling it. Then what I'm going to do is with that dinosaur layer, I'm going to go to Edit, Puppet Warp. Now, what you want to do is you want to place pins. When you click on your artwork, it's going to put a little pin in there. It's going to tack it down, and that can be a point that you can move, or it can be a point that just stays where it's at. You want to use as few pins as possible, unless you want it to stay still. So here on the body, I'm going to pin all that down because I really don't want much of this body to move. I'm only going to really move this tail and the head. So you can see I put a few points here. These are going to be like the joints for the tail and the neck and the head. Everything else is just going to kind of pin the body down so it doesn't move. So now if you click on one of these points and move it, you can change the whole orientation of things. You could use this for animation. You could use it just to reposition something that you don't like. You could use it to correct mistakes. It's a very useful feature. But you can see I can really re-sculpt this. Then when you're done, you just click the little check here. That applies your setting. And if you do a before and after, you get this crazy dinosaur dance. So you can see it works pretty well for animations too. So that's how you can reshape your image using Puppet Warp in Photoshop CC. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button to see my latest videos as they're released. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.